Here at the Department of Environmental Health Sciences at UCLA, research is showing that lead can take the place of zinc in a protein that regulates how your genes are transcribed or copied. And when this happens, it can interfere with the development of your nervous system and even red blood cells. Lead is one of the most studied toxic substances, and as a result, more is known about the adverse health effects of lead and how to prevent them than virtually any other chemical. Yet according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, more than 400,000 children suffer from lead poisoning each year. The majority of cases are from swallowing lead paint or playing in contaminated soil around their homes. But why would a kid eat lead paint? It's another tricky trait of this heavy metal. Lead stimulates the specific taste buds that tell the brain something is sweet, making a lead paint chip a tasty yet toxic treat for a toddler. When children are exposed to even relatively small amounts of lead, they can end up having permanent developmental problems. And certainly if you have very high levels, children could experience coma or even death. Children are much more susceptible to lead poisoning than adults because a child's body will absorb more lead and it will retain what it absorbs. This buildup of lead in the body is what causes serious and irreversible damage.